Hello, hello, guys. Sa namaste, brev, DAP, san monani. Anyway, we have a tell. Uh, uh, let's see this machine. I was repairing this machine uh, a few days ago, and it started to give me some issues. So I wanna show you what is going on. When you connect the charger, we have no light, nothing because there is no battery connected. But the moment, okay, let me show you the light. Okay, the moment you press the power button, you do get a light. It's flash one, and the once, and then it goes off. Okay, there we go. It keeps on doing that. Hope you can see. It keeps on doing that. Let's hope it's something that we can uh, repair, we can do. So what you do, the first step. Uh, we need to open this entire machine. all right guys so what we do the first step uh make sure your meter is on the continuity mode uh right and then you put one prop to ground let's put one prop to ground then on the power button we need to shot <laughs> The machine is on, so let's switch your multimeter into a voltage mode. Now we need to check uh, the voltages. Let's test the voltages. Uh, let's start with the 3.3 .3 and the 5 volt. We do have 5 volts. What about 3.3 .3 volt? We do have 3.3 .3 volt. And then what? What else? Then what happened? uh let's check the cpu we need to remove the entire port remove the plug i'm doing between between okay guys so the question is what uh might cause this so on my own opinion i think the shot if there's a shot somewhere somewhere the shot can cause this so let's check for a shot so you put one prop to ground and then let's check for a shot 3.3 and 5 volts are fine put your meter into diode mode let's see with the diode mode 448 is fine 389 that's fine what about the rams 131 is this a ram power supply or what because if this is for a ram then it means this is not good one three one nope i don't think this is good so let's you flip the board when you flip the board you'll see the two MOSFETs right here. See those two MOSFETs? 
there's a chip and there's a two MOSFET. So we need to remove those two MOSFETs and see which one. Uh, check which one is 40. I want to show you everything under the microscope. I don't want you to miss a single thing. So what I'm saying is here, you will have the two MOSFETs taking the 19 volts and then convert it into a lower voltage. And then this chip here, 517C, I believe is for controlling those two MOSFETs. Yes, as you can see, the, the chip there controls those two MOSFETs to generate what? Uh, 1.35 volts or 1.5 volts, depending on the uh, RAM type. So let's go ahead. ngane <laughs> All right, guys, we need to change this MOSFET here. This one, it's got a value of one, three something. This is one, four, three, one, four, four, one, four, five. Okay, it's one, four, five, one, four, six. But this one here, it's got a very, 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 very high uh, value. It's five, five, five something, of which is fine. But this one is bad. One, four, three. We need to change this one. All right, guys. Uh, I've changed those MOSFETs on the RAM. Uh, on the RAM. Then I reset the, the CMOS by removing the CMOS battery I'm not sure whether it will turn on or not uh, let's see one more time Thank you. 
All right, guys, it's beeping. Uh, it's making some noise. Four pips. Four pips. I uh, believe that's a RAM issue. So, what we're gonna do? Let's change the RAM. Wait, 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 wait. Let's check again the RAM supply. supply power supply. You remember where where we changed the RAM, right? Where we changed the slot, the RAM slot. Still saying 169, okay, 200, I'm not sure which one is correct. Hey, and I'm now lost. Let's use another RAM. Minanaman, I'm a child. 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 I'm when the engine since when the power phone is silent man yeah we saw full full power new so now when slim mala he can pet the phone is silent the fan is spinning Okay, it's now two pips. You don't pay two pips with tell you. Yeah. Alright guys, I don't understand the two pips. Two pips is the RAM. And four pips. Okay, guys, the two pips uh, seems like the RAM. Two pips and four RAM speed. No, as a Gunelo or TTR3L. But Gunelo, I understand the good name. Good name, chat, let me One, two, three, four, five. Five pips, boss. 
Okay, guys, he's turning on, but he's giving five beeps. Uh, he's giving five beeps. I'm not sure if you can hear. One, two, three, four, five. It's five beeps. He's beeping five times. Uh, I believe with these five beeps, uh, it means RTC, the real time talk, we need to uh, to put back the CMOS battery. Let's put back the CMOS battery. Uh, yeah. All right, no peeps at all. It's now working fine. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you learned something. The RAM power supply. Always be careful of the RAM power supply. Change those MOSFETs. If one of them is losing value, change uh, one of those MOSFETs. Just observe everything. Anyway, guys, this is it. I love you so much. Bye-bye and uh, take care.